Hello, welcome to Marisa. Hydrogen peroxide can be used as an environmentally friendly alternative to pesticide and fungicide. Hydrogen peroxide is completely compatible with organic farming. It is recognized by the United States Environment Protection Agency, US EPA, as an organic crop treatment product. The chemical formula of hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. It breaks down under normal condition to form only water and oxygen, 2H2O plus O2. It doesn't leave any chemical that can be harmful to humans and the environment. Hydrogen peroxide can be purchased in potencies ranging from 3% to 35%. The 3% solution is the most commonly available type and can be purchased at most supermarkets and drug stores. In this video we will talk about how hydrogen peroxide works and how it can be used in the garden for the following applications. 1. Root rot treatment and root pest control. 2. Pre-planting soil treatment. 3. Treatment of seeds to prevent fungal infection and improve germination. 4. Foliar spray to kill fungi and pests. 5. Disinfecting garden tools. 1. Root rot treatment and root pest control. Root rot occurs when there is not enough oxygenated air for oxidative processes to take place in the soil. This happens when the soil becomes saturated with water. It becomes anaerobic. Anaerobic bacteria thrives in anaerobic environment. These microorganisms use available nutrients in the soil and converts them into toxic substances that cause root rot and burning of leaves in a plant. The first step in treating this problem is to fix your drainage system. Dig a trench to direct excess water away from your plants. Use hydrogen peroxide to treat the roots once the excess water has been removed. Hydrogen peroxide releases free oxygen when it breaks down in the soil. Oxygen kills anaerobic bacteria, fills void spaces in the soil, and helps roots absorb more nutrients. Better absorption of nutrients results in stronger and healthier plants. Because of its apparent effect on plant growth, people commonly mistake Mistake hydrogen peroxide for a fertilizer, but it is not a fertilizer. What it does is simply help the plants get more nutrients from the soil by eliminating competition and keeping their roots away from harmful bacteria. Mix 35% hydrogen peroxide with water at a ratio of 1 to 10. Alternatively, use 3% hydrogen peroxide solution mixed with an equal amount of water, or a ratio of 1 to 1. Water the base of the infected plants thoroughly. Avoid wetting the foliage as this concentration of hydrogen peroxide could bleach and or burn the skin. You will see bubbles forming on top of the soil. This is normal, as oxygen is released in the reaction. Allow the top 2-3 to three inches of soil to dry completely before going back to regular watering. If done properly, one application of this solution is enough to reduce anaerobic activities in the soil, allowing the plants to recover. You should see improvement within a week. For root pest control. Water the base of the plant with the same mix twice a week for two weeks. Allow the top two inches of soil to dry between applications. 2. Pre-planting soil treatment. You can use the same mixture to treat the soil before planting the plants to kill any anaerobic organism, pests and fungi lurking in your garden and prevent infection in the plant. Do this by spraying and letting the solution soak the soil. Allow the top of the soil to dry before planting. 3. Treatment of seeds to prevent fungal infection and improve germination. High infestation of fungi in seeds results in poor germination, characterized by a high number of abnormal and diseased seedlings. Fungi infestation can be prevented by treating the seeds with the right concentration of hydrogen peroxide. Note that different seeds have different properties and may react differently on this treatment. One study, published in the International Journal of Plant Pathology in 2017, says a 1% hydrogen peroxide solution works best for chili seeds. Another study considered only 3%, 6%, 9%, and 12% hydrogen peroxide solutions to treat Zillia elegans seeds. This particular study shows that regardless of time and concentration, hydrogen peroxide significantly reduced seed infestation with fungi.
but while higher concentration of hydrogen peroxide results in lower infestation of fungi, it also lowers the sea germination capacity. Best performance in germination of zilia elegant seeds was noted with samples treated with just 3% solution. Based on these two studies, we recommend using 1% to 3% solution of hydrogen peroxide. To make a 1% solution, mix 3% hydrogen peroxide with water at a ratio of 1 to 3. To treat the seeds, to soak them in the solution for 10 minutes, and then allow them to dry. 4. Foliar spray to kill fungi and pests. Hydrogen peroxide is effective in controlling aphids, mites, mealybugs, and fungus gnat larvae. It is recommended to use equal parts of 3% hydrogen peroxide with distilled water for this application. However, it's a good practice to spot test a small area to make sure the solution does not burn the plant before using this mix for the whole garden. Plants react differently to chemicals. Some types are more sensitive than others. Just use small quantities of water and hydrogen peroxide for your test mix. Wait about three days and only spray the rest of the plants with the same mix proportion. If everything looks good on the spot tested area, if you see any sign of damage from the spray, adjust the mixture by adding more distilled water. A weaker solution, consisting of one teaspoon of 3% hydrogen peroxide per one cup of water, is good for a weekly preventive spray and will not burn the plant. However, you may need a stronger solution to treat infected plants. Spray the plants to thoroughly soak the infected plants and don't forget to get the undersides of the leaves. Spray also the top of the soil around the plant. Repeat the treatment weekly to remove all the bugs. 5. Disinfecting Garden Tools You can use 3% hydrogen peroxide to disinfect your garden tools, especially your pruning shear cutters, to prevent disease from spreading from plant to plant. This is accomplished by either dipping, wiping, or spraying your tools with a solution. Hydrogen peroxide kills algae, fungus, bacteria, and spores immediately on contact. However, it is very corrosive to metal. Make sure to thoroughly rinse your tools with clean water and wipe them dry immediately after disinfecting. Again, here are the five garden uses of hydrogen peroxide that we have discussed in this video. This concludes our presentation for today. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Also hit the notification bell so you get notified when we post new videos. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the day.